Today, we're all about monitoring pH and EC PPM levels, the key to keeping your plants happy and healthy. In the initial stages of setting up your hydroponic system, it's crucial to keep a close eye on two important factors, pH or potential hydrogen and EC PPM or electrical conductivity slash parts per million. Let's break it down. First off, you'll want to monitor these levels one to two times a day when you're just starting out. As you become more experienced and your system stabilizes, you can reduce this to testing every couple of days. But remember, whenever you add more nutrient solution, it's time to check again. Now, you have options for measuring pH and EC PPM. The gold standard is using an electronic meter, and we personally recommend it. However, you can use test strips or a drop test kit if you prefer. You can either buy pH and EC PPM meters separately or opt for a combined meter. The choice is yours. No matter which method you choose, after checking your pH and EC PPM levels, always record the measurements in a log and make sure to note the date. Now, let's talk about pH. The pH level of your nutrient solution should ideally fall between 5.5 and 6.5, with 6 being the sweet spot. If it's out of range, you can adjust it by using pH up and pH down solutions until you get it just right. Maintaining the correct pH ensures your plants can efficiently absorb nutrients, promoting healthy growth. But pH is just one part of the equation. You also need to keep an eye on your nutrient solutions EC PPM levels. Now, let's delve into EC PPM levels, another vital aspect of hydroponic gardening. You'll want to keep a close watch on your nutrient solutions EC PPM level and add nutrients when it drops below a certain threshold. To measure EC, you can use an EC meter, and for PPM, you can use a PPM or TDS, Total Dissolved Solids meter. There are two common scales for measuring PPM, PPM 500 and PPM 700. PPM 700 measures potassium chloride content, while PPM 500 is based on sodium chloride content and is also referred to as TDS. To convert EC to PPM, multiply your EC reading by 500 or PPM 500 scale and 700 for PPM 700 scale. However, for your convenience, it's best to use the same scale that matches the manufacturer's recommendations for your nutrient solution. Consistency is key. Now, remember, an EC PPM meter tells you the electrical conductivity of your nutrient solution, providing a rough idea of nutrient saturation. But it can't specify the quantity of each nutrient present. For most hydroponically grown plants, the ideal EC falls between 1.5 and 2.5 millisiemens per centimeter, or MS over CM, or 1,500 to 2,500 microsiemens per centimeter. So, maintaining the right EC ensures your plant receives the right amount of nutrients, avoiding deficiencies or excesses. Too high an EC can lead to nutrient lockout due to increased osmotic pressure, while too low an EC might hurt your yield. And there you have it. Monitoring pH and EC PPM levels is a fundamental practice for hydroponic success. Keep those measurements accurate and your plants will thank you with lush growth and bountiful harvests. If you like what you just saw, go ahead and click the link in the description to find a full detailed article on this video's topic. And if you learned something new today, hit that like button and let us know down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more hydroponics educational content and visit proponics.co.uk for in-depth articles on all things hydroponics. Grow smarter with proponics. And until next time, happy growing.